All right, I can do this. <laughs> the binary filter section utilizes the core circuitry of the classic Pittsburgh modular filter to create a smooth 12 dB low pass filter. The custom state variable filter topology offers near infinite resonance with or without self oscillation. The filter in the microvolt actually dates back as the very first collaboration that Richard and I worked on together. He came to me and said, I'd like a filter that would define the sound of our synthesizers. What would that be? And we worked together for a while, and this is what we came up with. And we liked it so much, it's been adopted in just about every one of our devices ever since. The first module to use the circuit was simply called filter. The look and the feature set of the Pittsburgh filter has evolved over the years, but the core circuitry Michael and I developed for the original module remains at the heart of our sound. The signal level going into the filter has a large impact on the resonance and overall sound of the output. The filter utilizes a proprietary soft clipping circuit to add warmth and drive to stronger signals that prevents the filter from creating unwanted distortion. Reducing the level of the incoming waveforms leaves more room for resonance to expand into before hitting the drive circuit. Because of a soft limiter in the feedback path of the filter, resonance can get extremely high without ever sounding harsh or clipped. The mode button switches between stable and unstable resonance modes. Placing the filter in unstable mode guarantees the signal will drive the soft clipping circuit. Adjust the filter frequency and resonance sliders to dial in the perfect amount of scream. The frequency slider sets the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter. The frequency mod trim pot attenuates the incoming modulation controlling the filter cutoff. This control is normal to the output of the function generator. When using the frequency mod to modulate the filter cutoff, the frequency slider acts as an offset or starting point for the CV signal. The resonance slider adjusts the filter cue or quality factor. Patching into the filter input or filter frequency CV input will replace the internal connection with the new signal. The output of the binary filter section is internally patched to the input of the dynamic VCA section, which we will be taking a look at in the next video. Until then, try experimenting with the unstable mode using different waveforms, frequency, and resonance settings. That's good enough. <laughs>